Okay, let me strap the manakbe. Okay, the human ground is uh, I don't know the one. Okay, guys doon ako nagparking sa likod ng malaking ano na to camper van ang layo kasi eto na naman tayo guys <laughs> yung sinasabi kong libre na Locarno Beats ginawa ng may bayad pala <laughs> kaya tuloy na ako ng free parking ayan na dyan sa bandang dyan this time free until the whole day kasi magbabayad ka ng ano dun sa may ano pay parking is ano one hour in one hour one dollar that's so expensive oh, and before that guys and welcome to another episode of my vlog welcome to the vlog guys yeah! ako yung nag join sa <laughs> um Jerome Church uh, activities today. I think they have the baptism. Baptism. Yes, they have the water baptism I'm today. The, around this. Oh, may mga park. Ganda rin dito, ano guys? <laughs> Ayan. Ayan. Nandito tayo sa may ano, Locarno. Locarno, Locarno May, may lalabas na sasakyan O, oh, yun ano Dito mm. Mm. Ayan, o oh. Tayo guys Sana naman nakarating si tita niyo. Oh, <laughs> dito tayo eh. May vlog na yata ako dati dito eh. Ang vlog na ako dati dito eh. Eh, yan. Tingnan nyo. Nice, nice, nice. Uy, si brother Tony pala yan. <laughs> Alayo nung aking ano. Eh, kaysa na magbabayad ng one dollar per hour. Oh my God! Look at those birds, guys. Nandito sila. Okay, let's go there. For now. Gusto ko ano. Oh, tingnan nyo. Oh, mga favorite birds ko. Nandiyan sila. Oh, tingnan natin. Oh, guys. Oh. Nandito yung mga Birdie! Tingnan nga muna natin. Oh, yan sila, oh. Dito sa may parte na ng lokar, no? Oh, my God! You are here! Oh, ma. Hmm. Ay. Ay, yan sila, guys. Ayan na sila, guys. Ayan na sila, guys. Ang ko lumalayo sila. Ah. Eh, ang dami na naman nila pupo. Basta may mga ganitong grass, nandiyan sila. 
because they're eating grass. They are here. Oh. Ano kaya yung building na yan? Oh, di ba? Park na park talaga to siya. Oh. <laughs> oh, sabi niya. Tingnan niya. Nakakita naman si Tita nung <laughs> ano niya eh. Ito yung mga birds na lagi ko nung gusto mo gusto makita eh. Ayan. Birds. Ito oh. Bablog na talaga ako dito. Sa kalsada pa lang, guys. <laughs> okay. Ayan o, oh, tingnan nyo yung ano ah. Ang background ko doon. Andun yung bits. Tayo sa kalsada, guys. Ayan. Dito sa kalsada. Ayan o, joint. Joint pala to. Lahat ng J1. Oh, ayan na sila. Kasi oh, mapapasa yung mga certificate ng mga water baptism natin. So we will be presenting the uh, certificate sa church na lang the following Sunday. And then uh, after that, lunch, and then uh, some games, I think, uh, and then of course, as you can see, may mga prizes tayo dito, so we encourage everyone to please um, join the, uh, the, uh, ano, the games para po, uh, syempre, masaya tayo, di ba? So, and then after that, after the lunch, um, we will be closing in prayer, and then the rest of the time, will be just for you guys to enjoy the beach, converse with one another, banding with one another, maglakad-lakad tayo dyan mamaya, and that's the end of this Sunday service, okay? And I hope and I pray that we will be, we will have that time together this morning. Can we bow down and close our eyes for mamaya na there? Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless you. We magnify your name, O Lord God. To you, we give you the glory. To you, we give you the honor. You alone are worthy to be praised, O God. We thank you, dear Lord, for this beautiful Sunday morning that you have given unto us. We thank you for each and every families that are here. Thank you for taking their time, O Lord God, to attend our annual and the only picnic that we have as a congregation, as a campus, O Lord God. Lord, we pray as we have this time with one another we will enjoy the company of one another we will fellowship with one another we will converse with one another we will connect with one another oh god lord our prayer is that you are going to invade this place oh god with your holy and mighty presence right now oh god lord we declare your lordship in this place oh god in jesus mighty name and even oh god for the word that we're going to hear today short message from our beloved pastor kaloy lord we ask that you're going to be with him you're going oh god to anoint him you're going oh god to give him oh god the word 
that we need for today in Jesus mighty name and as we as we um, enjoy the company of one another this uh, morning oh Lord God be with us guide us oh Lord God we also ask the covering of the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ to cover this place oh Lord God with your holy blood so that no wiles and works of the enemy can penetrate within us oh Lord God Lord to you we give you the glory to you we give you the honor in Jesus name we pray and everyone will say Amen. 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 Happy Sunday to everyone. And then if I may ask to just greet the people that are around you, behind you, just before we go to our praise and worship. Take it away, Brother David. Hello, Hello. How are you now? <laughs> Sister Mela. <laughs> Oo nga, di ba? Ages, ages, ha? Ages na. <laughs> Sister Mela. <laughs> At to use my ka, my ka, eh, my cellphone, guys. It's more easy for me to edit this video than this GoPro. Ati Lisa, hi to my blog. Ati Lisa, kita. Ati Lisa. Oo nga, no. Nabanggit ka nga ni Biol sa akin, eh. Nahanap ka ni, ano, eh. Ni Lisa. Ah, si Ati Lisa. Lisa, buti. How are you, na? Oo. Wala, di. Wala, di.
All right, so uh, with our festivities going on this time, uh, we also have to take time to listen to God's word since it's the Sunday service. And uh, we are, but we chose to have this books because it is needed for us also to move outside of our Medyo, di bang klaseng view naman, di bang pag-worship sa mga Ngayon lang kami nagkita-kita ulit guys So if you have your Bibles, I hope you put your Bibles pa rin Pitura at sila If you're going to do it Itong dalawang Itong dalawang ito naman Nagkikismisan Matapak pa dito ah Walastik Nagamaritas ng tanda Dalawang yolyo That's me. Sister Evelyn. Pastor. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the carnival. Thank you. Really? Rather in humility value others among themselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your words. It's time to ask that you would help us understand this, even as we study this this morning. Thank you, Father God, and we ask this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Okay, so I would like to talk about like-mindedness. Like-mindedness means we have the same mind. We have the same thought. We have the same uh, uh, perception when it comes to serving the Lord Jesus Christ. When it comes, when it comes to the church, when it comes to fellowshipping, we must have the same mind we have the we should have the same uh, view about everything we should have the same perception 
It is a like-mindedness. Uh, it is a one goal. It is one mission that we must be able to achieve this morning. It is very important, brothers and sisters, to be united. Now, sometimes because of different uh, personalities, doon po nakakaroon ng conflict. Because of different personalities, the way some of us are, uh, are being raised up, the way we were forged, some of us came from a hard life, so we have a different uh, perspective. Some of us came from a good life. This place is surrounded by tall trees, tall pine trees. But and this is where we, we have the church service. The, ministry, it is the about church service of Jerome Church. It is about our service. Jesus Rock of Ages Ministries. So the first one that I would like to emphasize because uh, I only have a few minutes here and uh, I would like to talk about like-mindedness in unity. The first one is in unity. We must be united. Pastor Kaloy. Because if we Lola are disunited, we will is the lose. One is speaking right now. Last, uh, last time I spoke about being a soldier in which every one of us are soldiers for Jesus Christ. And uh, most of the time, if we are disunited, we will lose the battle to the devil. We are in a spiritual battle, so we will lose the battle if we are not Ay, naglalive si if we Violetta dyan. daming mga barko ngayon. And in truth, hmm. yun po ang sinasabi dito. Okay. Different opinions hmm. it causes the uh, disunity and each other forcing what he believes on the other and being close-minded to the opinion of the other. So, in here, if it is like that, then we are at a losing end. We lose the battle to the devil. And so, brothers and sisters, uh, this this kind of disunity, when we try to enforce it, then we do not listen. That's why it's called a fellowship. We are united. We talk to each other and talk about our Lord Jesus Christ and then we become united. But uh, sometimes we have a difference of opinion. For example, if we talk about basketball and who, or who is better or, uh, 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 or a candidate to, uh, of, uh, for, uh, for the politics, who is better politician or uh, is a, the better president and then and then we we try to enforce and we do not listen and then that causes this unity sometimes we discuss things we discuss problems and uh, we don't uh, we don't listen to the opinion of the other then and then we try to enforce and then that is what is going on and sometimes we are like that my brothers and my sisters we are not except from it we are we pastors also are not exempt from it but still we as your leaders try to understand one another and uh, try to uh, you know you know uh, yung tinatawag nilang pasensyahan being patient with one another because that is what the Bible says alright so that, that, that is the way it is and uh, mm -hmm. at this time uh, also another one is greed this causes us not to be like minded selfishness self esteem egotistic and I'm going to give examples because uh, uh, medyo yung mga iba sa inyo makasimangot ay dulat mo na ikihitan because you <laughs> 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 
Pagkatawa man ni Pastor Kaloyan. Okay, so, you know, sometimes greed, I'm going to show you in a form of a joke yung ito pong greed na ito. Okay? There is the story of a six uh, of a sixty-year-old couple, the man and the wife, all right, and uh, and they saw a genie, and the genie wants to grant them one wish each. Okay, the wife asked the genie, "Make us happy all the days of our lives," and so the genie granted them. Yeah, it was granted to her. The husband also, you know, kan ano, medyo dismayado dahil 60 years old na sila. And sinabi nila, he asked the genie, Okay, I want a wife that is 30 years younger than me. What? Sabi ng wife. Yeah. Tapos, and then I want the, you know, what? So, although yung kana may the wish is like somewhat absurd to the wife and to the genie, since it's a wish. Okay, said the genie, granted. So what happened? Yung lalaki naging ninety years old. Very greedy kasi. Another egotistic man asked God this one. Lord, what is a thousand years? God said, oh, it's only seconds to me. Sabi na pala pag mo. And so, uh, the man said again, How about a trillion dollars? Oh, it's just a few cents to me, said God. So the man got excited. Could you spare me one cent then, Lord? And God said, Okay, just a second. And that means it's a thousand years bago mo matatanggap yun. If you got the job. Okay, and then And God said to him, It's a heart that is hard. And so that egotistic man said, Please make me rich, good looking, and women to run after me. God said, Okay, I will stick the word peace. You see, these kinds, I know, sometimes we are uh, we are people like like this, and uh, we ask God, and we ask because sometimes we became selfish, and because of our selfishness, even to our brethren, <laughs> that is where we miss the point, and we are becoming more light minded. So the second one, or the yeah, the, the third one that I'm going to talk about is favoritism. These are the ones that uh, will not make us like <laughs> favoritism. An example, good example is this one is we sometimes we only want to be in the company of the people that we love. All those unlovable people. Listen to that, guys. Correct. Listen to Pastor Kaloy. Don't deny because sometimes you know it's hard to go along with unlovable people. It's hard to go to to be with people who doesn't share your interests, 
Yes, that's true. And we <laughs> are most of the time. Brexit, Pastor. Brexit. So, brothers and sisters, favoritism. And the, the Bible spoke about favoritism like this. Actually, favoritism is like uh, it is likened to sin. In James 2, chapter 6 to 9, it says here, But you have dishonored the poor man. It is not the rich who oppress Is it not? The rich who oppress you and personally drag you in the court? Do they not blaspheme the fair name by which you have been called? How, if however you are fulfilling the royal law according to the scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself, you are doing well. But if you show partiality, it means, uh, favoritism you are committing sin and convicted by the law of the brothers and sisters it is very important that we do not show favoritism sometimes you know uh, we uh, even though uh, Papa has said So brothers and sisters, do not show favoritism. Okay, so back to my other points. And uh, like-mindedness in honoring God first. In Matthew 6.33, seek ye first the kingdom of first and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you this one is the first in everything like i would stick with the three t's that i mentioned before uh, the time the talent and the treasure the treasure is like how do we do uh, how do we put God first? It is the paying of our tithes and the giving of our offerings. It is very, we always, every Sunday, almost every Sunday, we we try to exhort about this because this is very important. This is honoring God first, seeking God first through our treasure. And then it comes... Uh, our time making sure that we have time also and we do not spare time in order to serve the ministry we must make time to serve the ministry that is honoring God first we must be like minded in that and sometimes we have different views on that it's because we have given our our time to the Lord is okay na yun. It's different in the view of others and we cannot be like-minded on that one. We must have the same mind on this that first, if you have a, if you have a, if you want to give your time to God first, then our time, that time must be dedicated to God. To God. And do you think you could give just this spare time, your spare time, that it's because the apogee sa trabaho, pwede ako magser, pwede ako busy sa kamito, pwede ako magser, so pwede ako busy sa kamito, so pwede ako pwede, so pwede ako magser. And then we have a different opinion there because once you commit God first in your time, then you would make time. To God. 
period. Wala akong kwan na. You have to make time for our Lord. Maybe in prayer, maybe in sharing. <laughs> Pero if you just want to give your spare time because hindi kayo busy, then you are committing a big mistake. And then, uh, time, talent, and our turn. Talent. Our talent serves primarily dapat sa Panginoon niya. The talent. Christian musicians and singers who play in a secular band must be playing primarily for God. Although, sometimes because yun ang profession nila, they have to play outside. We must also understand that. But, kung hindi na sila makapag-play, it's because uh, hindi na sila makapag-play it's because they are uh, playing in a secular band wala silang time then they're also missing the point our talents our dancing talents our singing talents for the karaoke should be for God pero kapag karaoke kasi okay kapag karaoke pero hindi man lang sila makapag-commit sa music ministry. Why? You tell me why. Tell me why. Bigla. <laughs> if there is a chance you are hired to uh, ito sa mga musician, musikero, I am a musician. So if there is a chance you are hired full-time in music ministry, are you able to give up your second band? A choice. Actually, a friend of mine in the States, let's go to uh, professions. Uh, actually, in the States, I have a friend who chose his calling as a pastor, although he is already having a booming career in this engineering career, career in the States. Pero he chose to serve the world. I have a couple uh, uh, friends uh, who are doctors, you know? And this uh, couple, my, my friend, uh, the doctors, they instead of doing their professions, they just chose to go to ministry. They chose to become missionaries. One good example here is, uh, of course, we know about Tim. Right? He chose to be a missionary. Maybe a Seek ye first the kingdom of God. I would now ask you, what are you thinking now? Oh, what, uh, what is the fun that I'm going to receive this time? But if you are a Christian, brothers and sisters, ito ang tapa, uh, the like-mindedness, like-mindedness comes in. A few minutes ni Pastor Carlos. If you are really a Christian, minutes. you would think first na, oh, there must be a service. Oh, we would be able to listen to God's word and worship God again. Hindi po sa, it doesn't mean that even if we are at a picnic, the number one is still the picnic. Dapat ang number one pa rin, si Lord. Ano niya? So, anong nasa isip nyo ngayon? Oh. Pero kapag naisip nyo how to have fun, how to go kayakin the games that you're going to play later on, then you are missing the point. First, still, God must be priority. He must 
be first in our lives. Like-mindedness, the last one, is supporting one another. Ay, salam. Looking at the brethren who need support, not only spiritually, but physically or financially, just like our support to our relatives or loved ones here or at home in the Philippines. And a good example here is our personal testimony as a family. The Aurelius gave us a home when our shelter got burned. Financial and bodily support for most of you guys like clothes and some monetary have been appreciated. And we thank you for supporting us. That is like-mindedness in supporting one another. Giving to our brethren the needy. That's why in the book of Acts, the Christians before were able to sell their properties in order to help their brethren na nagihirap or even that ganun po katindig yung like-mindedness. Yet, Paul is still about like-mindedness. So, if you are already overflowing and stable with finances, then support people by, uh, for example, if the brethren is renting under, under you, don't overcharge them naman na parang business talaga. Don't do that. Also. Ganun po yun. That is so good to your brother. I teach music and I taught non-Christians before. And I charge them accordingly. But it is from my brother. Of course, I would give a discount. I would not get the full payment of uh, what you pay in a secular music school. I, uh, the others who have been under me, they know this. Magkano ba ang bayad sa school of music? 60? 70? Honestly, I only charge 20. Kung totoo sa and the, the brethren whose children have been under me, they know that. So what, uh, and uh, what is painful sometimes is sometimes that the non-believers are more supportive than the Christian themselves. I hope no one is like that. Yeah. So the bottom line, In 1 Corinthians 7, 12, 12, no? to the rest, okay, this is sabi ni Paul ito. I say this, I, sabi niya, uh, close parenthesis, I, not the Lord. Oh, pero nasa 1 Corinthians 7, 12, 12 ito. Why did Paul say, Paul say this? Isn't this the word of God? Pero sabi ni Paul dito, to the rest, I say this, I, not the Lord. If any brother has a wife who is not a believer and she's willing to live with him, he must not divorce her. Now, why, why is this? Why did Paul say this? It is I who speaketh, not the Lord. is because Paul has the mind of Christ. That's also in 2 Corinthians 2. For who has known the Lord's mind that he may, that he may instruct him? We have the mind of Christ. Kaya nga po, yung sinabi ni Paul dito na it is not the speaker, not the word. It is because Paul already has the mind of Christ. Parang ganito yan eh. Parang tinanong ni Lord kay Paul, what do you think? It is something 
like that. My brothers and the mind of Christ speaks about that. So if you have the mind of Christ, you speak about Christ, about God, about His attributes, about His holiness, about His miracles, about His everything that God has done, how good He is. That is what we want. That is what the mind of Christ has. And I hope that in our like-mindedness, we have the same mind. So at this time, let's pray. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us this time for your words, Lord. Help us have the same mind. Like-mindedness to think the same. Um, yung palakpak nyo kanina parang ano buto na. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, for this morning. Thank you, Lord. Um, so at this time, uh, can we call on all of our uh, youth camp uh, participant uh, delegates to please come to the front para po may pagpray namin kayo. And then uh, later on, yung mga water, uh, yung mga candidates for our water baptism. So uh, first, mm -hmm. yung um, candidate, uh, yung uh, campers natin. Sige na, quick. Oh, if if you, you are campers? campers, please come forward. Uh, uh, we will be praying for you. And, oh, oh. Uh, dito oh, lang sa dami uh, nilang mga youth. Ah. Yeah. Okay, ito yung mga campers natin. Dito kayo sa middle, middle. Uh, dito, dito sa middle. Middle. Oh. In the front, in the front. Mga youth nila. Itong mga batang ito, wait. Okay. Ito lang ba yung ano? You should be 22. We are missing few. Asan yung iba? Dami ng youth guys ng church. Ah, nasa US yung iba. Okay, congregation, can we uh, stretch forth our hands for these uh, campers that will be camping uh, next week. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We bless you. We magnify your name, O Lord God. We give you praise and glory. For the life of these uh, campers, oh Lord God, Lord, we pray for an open heart, uh, a heart that is uh, fertile to receive your word on the on those three days, oh Lord God. Lord, we pray in one spirit and in one accord as a congregation like now that they may know you even more, that they will give your life to you even at this young age. Lord, we pray that you are going to guide them, you're going, oh Lord God, to be with them on those three days, oh Lord God. We pray for your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to be upon them as well. And as they uh, go for this uh, camping trip next week, oh Lord God, we ask that you're going to prepare them. You're going, oh Lord God, to be with them, arrange their schedule, of, oh Lord God, so that they may be able to do the things that are needed to be done in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we entrust to you the life of these uh, youth campers. In Jesus' name we pray. And everyone will say amen and amen. Okay, one one picture. Dito, dito sa may J-Ram. Okay. Uh, closer to the banner, please. Are you not uh, understanding me? <laughs> Okay, so yan po yung mga campers natin, okay? Please continue to pray for them next week, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, they'll be there for the next, uh, all the sessions. Marami na palang youth. Okay. Nag-picture na ba? 3, 2, 1. Okay, 3, 2, 1. Smile. Ay, the Atenis now. I was the bus leader at the time after the service. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, let me track them. Okay, the human drone is. Uh, I don't, no, no, no. We will add the human drone. 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 We will add the Okay? Huh? Okay. Three, two, one. our program so 10:30 we will be meeting the del kaya ako naman so yung mga oh. ano po we want everyone to go there too para sa premiering sila ng audience we want seniors to be uh, to be with us as well so please come and then 11:30 to 12 kaya ako na narinig niyo Pastor Kaloy and Pastor Mani, can we have you here for picture taking <laughs> with the wife and spouses? Ayan, talagang piknikan na to guys. Ang susunod, piknikan na. Papa, meron pa lang ano yan ah. Meron pa lang kwan yan ah. Payung ah. Ah, <laughs> <laughs>